In between each established world, there are a buffer zone. Just like I told you, between the three worlds and the fifth level, there are a buffer zone called the fourth level, yeah? Yes. That you can use as a free land, a no man land. Oh. Some Buddhas, some Bodhisattvas create some land there for their own disciples, believers. Oh. And between every level, there are a buffer zone, vast and massive and unattainable. Understand? If you are there without anyone, you will be lost. You can never find your way out. So if you want to go to the fifth level, for example, you need a master to take you across the fourth level. Wow. It's too vast for anyone to even know anywhere. Without your own light, that zone will be dark. Wow. Without all the beings light there, that zone is dark. It's a, just a buffer zone, okay? Wow. So just like between astral level and the second level, there is also a buffer zone, yeah? Some good beings, a master, create some heavens there for their own people, for the good people, believers of this master or this good being. That reminds me of there is a film, Astro City? Yes, yes. Astro. Yeah, yeah, it's a true story. Yes, yes. Yeah, except it's more beautiful, more splendid, and glorious, and radiant, and, and shining, and brighter than that. And beautiful being there. Wow. No old people. When you go there, you become young again, wow. and you become healed again. No matter if you are handicapped or terminally ill, you become young and healthy and happy over there. Wow. Yes. That's another buffer zone that some master created to rescue some redeemable souls from this planet. Wow. Mm. So all the between zone have been used to create different kind of heavens for different people, apart from the heavens already exist, from the masters, from different levels of master. They create different heavens. If uh, not too high, then they create at lower level. But also depends on the affinity or whom and which uh, level of beings they want to rescue. Understand? Yes. And then I remember the, the film that we saw, uh, the Astro City? Yes. Yes. Hmm? Yes, yes. yes. Remember when the good saintly beings came to that uh, desperate uh, uh, doctor who just died? Yeah? Yes. yes and lay in there. At last he prayed to God. Eh? He said, Somebody help me in the name of God, for the love of God. And then they came. And then there were many of these uh, astro beings very ugly and aggressive and trying to scare them and all that. And then the saintly being from this astro city, he extended his hands, remember? Yes, yes Master. Yeah, extended his hand to those uh, uh, lowly beings as if saying, come with me, I will take you also to heaven, to the astro city. But the, the astro beings, the fighty ones, the aggressive ones, they just stepped back. They were kind of a, a surprise at his friendly gesture in response to their aggressiveness. They were harassing that doctor and all that, the, the just newly died doctor. So the saint just extended his hand as if, come with me, I will take you also. But they did not. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> they know these astral beings, they know who they are. They know the saints, but still didn't come with him immediately, did not, stepped back and just went back to their usual place, usual uh, level, where they drink the muddy water. I don't see any water, it's just mud. At least it's wet, so they call that water, and they're fighting for that even. Even for us humans, we don't drink mud, but they have to, because there's their hell like that. And they don't even come to the saints. They know who they are. The astral know that they are the saints, and they can take them to heaven, but they refuse to go. You see that? Yes. Yes. Mm.